Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Tony coming at you with another daily devotion. Just a quick word of encouragement coming from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verses 10 and 11 in the NIV. And doing your own reading time, read the entire chapter. So we're still talking about hope, and we'll finish up the series with hope even when you can't see it. So 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verses 10 and 11 says, In her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. And she made a vow saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life and no razor will ever be used on his head. So have you ever been the subject of being ridiculed because you weren't able to do something? Have you ever been bullied because you didn't fit in? Have you ever felt misunderstood because someone made assumptions about you? Well, Hannah, who was the wife of Elkanah, and also he also had another wife named Penina. Penina was able to have children and Hannah wasn't. Penina would make fun of Hannah because she couldn't have kids. Every year they went to Shiloh to worship and make sacrifices to the Lord in the tabernacle. Penina would receive food for herself and each of her children, but Hannah would only receive a choice portion because it was just her. She would be so upset from being provoked and insulted, let's just call it what it is, she's being bullied, that she would not eat her food and spent most of her time crying. There was one time during worship that Hannah went off to pray and she went in praying. She was crying and pleading with God for a son and that if she would be able to have a child, she would give him back to God. And she said to prove it, she would never cut his hair. And then during that time, there was, was just praying. There was also a man who saw her praying and assumed that she was some drunk talking to herself because he saw her and he saw her mouth moving, but he couldn't hear her. But she assured him that she felt down and out. And so she took the time to call on the Lord. And with that, instead of assuming, the man encouraged her and hoped the best for her. So after everything was said and done, she felt better and went back and even ate some food. So today I just want to encourage you that when you're faced with people who do not have your best interest at heart and choose to treat you with unkind words and actions because of something that you can't do or achieve, Instead of retaliating, take all of your cares and concerns to the Lord. One, cast your cares on God because he cares for you. Two, the prayers of the righteous availeth much because Hannah received encouragement from the gentleman who saw her praying. And three, when you pray your concerns to God, let him take care of it. So just like Hannah when you cry out to the Lord and are really sincere and to the point, God will remember your plea and answer according to his will at the appointed time. So always stay hopeful, even when you can't see it. Let's pray. God, in your word, you said that if we hope for what we cannot see, we wait for it with patience. God, will you help us stay hopeful during the times we pray, and that we are patient. God, will you give us the knowledge to pray for those that mistreat us? Give us knowledge and wisdom when others assume wrong things about us. God, we thank you for answering our plea. God, thank you for listening to us, oh God. Thank you for allowing us to have encouragement for others. God, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving us hope. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.